Hi everybody, my name is Reverend Rachel Byers and I'm an ordained deacon here in the Pacific Northwest Conference of the United Methodist Church. Today we're going to work on drawing our spiritual journey timelines. They're pretty simple. All you have to do is know what happened in your life and you don't even have to remember all the small stuff. What we're going to talk about are the big moments when you felt really close to God or the big moments when maybe you felt a little bit far away from God. And the purpose of this is to give us a different way to talk about our faith and to tell our story of faith. So if you're ready to dive in, this is what you're going to need. You'll need a blank piece of paper, a marker, pen, pencil, or crayon, and a space to draw in. That's it. Pretty simple, right? To get started, you're going to take your blank piece of paper and you're going to draw the map of your life. The beginning is when you're born and the end is where you are now. All right, everybody got it? Great. The next thing we're going to do is add in some big places in your life. So when you see on my spiritual journeys timeline, I have places like camp, school, the Pacific Northwest. There's a mission trip that I took when I was in college that was really important to me. All these moments are going to be on my timeline. You'll see that I have some clip art versions. You don't have to have the clip art. You can draw a scribble or even write the name of the place. That's okay too. Take a couple of minutes to get that done. All set? Don't worry, you can come back to this later if you're not quite finished yet. The next piece that we're going to do is add in some of the important relationships we've had in our lives and the relationships and moments where we felt really close to God in those relationships. You'll see on mine I've added another baby. That's when my sister was born. I was about two years old. You'll also see that I've added my grandparents. This is about the time we took a camping trip out west. We spent a whole lot of time together, saw some really amazing things, and I've never been so much more in awe of God and creation than I was on that camping trip. You'll also see toward the end that I came out as an LGBT person uh, kind of recently in my life. This is a very important part of my relationship with God, with the church, and with each other. So all of these moments have made it onto my timeline. What moments make it onto your timeline as relationships that are important to you? All right, time for the next piece. And like before, don't worry if you didn't get to add all of those important people in your life just yet. Next, we're going to talk about the hard stuff. Uh, maybe there are some relationships that were really stormy for you. They're really challenging or toxic. Maybe there was a moment for you when you were, uh, when you felt really far away from God. I have some storms on my timeline. I struggle pretty deeply with depression. You'll see I have a tornado in the middle of my road uh, right around high school. This is a time when I was pretty deep into depression and I didn't know if I would make it out. It felt like everything was spinning around and I was just going crazy. I didn't know where God was, didn't know what my relationship looked like with God. And so that was a pretty important time for me, and it's one that's important for me to put on my timeline and to talk about when I talk about my faith. So now it's time for you to add in your storms. Maybe they're all mixed together. Maybe some of those important relationships to you were a little bit stormy also. Find those moments and add those storms in.
All right. And now we should have arrived kind of at the end of your timeline. You'll see that I have a picture of me, my wife, and my dog last November. Uh, this is an important moment for me. This is my family and what we look like now. Where have you ended up? What does your life look like? And once we get that final picture done, we're going to talk about it. So add in any other things you want and then find someone to share your faith story with. Call your pastors too. Tell them a little bit about what happened. Some things that it's important to know is that not everything is going to show up on your faith stories timeline. Every time you do it, stuff's going to be different. There's some things that I put on my timeline before that I didn't put on my timeline this time. There are some things I added to my timeline this time that I've never had before. Because as we grow and as we change and as we move through the world as people, we see God very differently in very different ways. Let this be a way to help you reflect on your life, see where the hard times have been, see where God has been, and speak to the goodness that is in you.